Hey guys, well as you can see my office looks a little bit different today. Uh, I'm traveling right now, I'm working on my photography business, but I didn't want to leave you guys without any videos, okay? So I made a series for you guys, for you to enjoy until I get back, alright? See you guys soon, bye. Alright guys, well we're in uh, Maya 2018, let's get started. So we're gonna make a um, security camera a turret or turret, I'm not quite sure if that's pronounced. One of those rotating cameras on the ceiling, okay, for security purposes. All right, that said, let's get started. So we're going to start with a uh, polygon pipe, and I'm going to hit R to scale it out uh, like this, and then I'm going to push it down. I'm going to hit Control A to open up my attribute editor. We're going to go in, and we're going to set the thickness to 0.1, which should be fine. And let's see, we'll set the uh, subdivision level to uh, 30. Uh, well, maybe not. We'll, we'll smooth it later. We'll put it to 20, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into my top view, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go to face, drag, select this half right here, delete it, drag, select this quarter, and delete that as well. And then I'm going to go in, and I'm going to uh, create some indentations. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, insert edge loop, option box, multiple, set that to 3, and we'll go in and we'll put in three right there and three right there and hit Q on our keyboard and then we're going to go in and we are going to right click go to edge and we're going to select this one and this one and this one and this one and we're going to go in here and do the same one two three and four we're going to hit W and we're going to push them down like this and then we're going to take one two and three and we'll do one, two, three here as well. Push that down as well. We'll repeat that, one and two. Oops. And here as well, one and two. Push that down a bit. And then we'll do one more time, one and one. And push that down a bit. All right. So now that we have that, let's see, we're going to go in one more time, we're going to go to Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, set that to uh, Manual, go in there, push one up to the edge, and one down here, that one was not going to work that well, so instead we'll do one here and one here, that should be fine, and let's uh, flip it over and we'll do one right there. Okay, cool. So now if you hit Q on our keyboard, and we're going to right click at object mode and hit 3 to preview smooth, we'll get something looking like this, which is fine. Hit 1 to go back, we're going to go to our top view, I'm going to hit W to move the sky, you can see that the pivot is centered right there. So I can hit Control D to duplicate it, hit E to rotate, and hold down J, snap it right there, like this, and then hit Shift D and Shift D to go around. Okay. So now we've got this guy. We're going to drag select all of it. And we're going to go to Mesh and Combine. And then I'm going to right click and go to Vertex. We're going to drag select these. And we're going to go to Merge. And let's make sure that our distance is correct. Seems to be fine. So if I go in, hit 3 to Preview Smooth, I will get something like, like this, which is good. Now instead of preview smooth, I'm going to go up to mesh to hit smooth to actually smooth it. And this doesn't have to be a low poly model, so this is fine. All right, so that's first part. Now, the next part. We are going to take a polygon sphere. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale that out until we're basically inside that piece that we just created. I'll let four for wireframe mode so you can see it better. There we go. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click, go to face, I'm going to drag select the top half and delete that as before. And then I'm going to go in and let's select this section right here. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll do one more right there and delete that. Okay. So now that we have that, we need to do a couple of things here. First, we need to go in. Let's do that from this view right here. And I'm going to go into my modeling toolkit. I'm going to take my multi cut tool and I'm going to jump from this guy to this guy uh, 
let's see this guy this guy and that one come on that one doesn't want to play ball so let's just do that there you have it I'm just gonna hit enter hit escape and go out there and then I'm gonna take one two three four delete those faces and we have to do the same at the other end so that's fine we can do it a couple of ways so we can copy it over which is probably the easiest way to do it so we've got that section going on right there so I'm gonna drag select these faces delete it go in take this guy Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it around like this, select them both, mesh combine. We're gonna go in, we're gonna right click go to vertex, drag select them, we're gonna go to uh, merge, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go to mesh and smooth. And let's see how that looks. We'll bump it up one level. Let's go to two. That looks okay. And then we're going to create some thickness. So we're going to control E to extrude. And let's do 0 0.2. Let's see how thick that looks. I think that looks fine. All right. Now I'm going to go in and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bevel those edges. So I'm going to right click the edge, double click and shift double click not quite sure if I'm getting everything here I think we're good we're gonna go to edit mesh and bevel and let's get that into our screen here so we can see what's going on I'm gonna increase the fraction a bit like this and then I'm gonna go in and uh, let's see increase segments all right so we got that <clears throat> okay so we're going to close down this guy right there let's have a look to make sure that everything is positioned okay you can see we need to bring it down a little bit so we can do that hit w just bring it down slightly that looks fine all right I'm going to drag select that and what we'll do is just go to mesh and combine and I'll move that up for now. All right. Okay. So what do we need to do next? We need to create a polygon sphere. Once again, we're going to hit R to scale it up and that's going to be our main camera body. We're going to go in here and actually based on the rotation, what we're going to do is we're going to hit W. We're going to bring this down again because once we start to rotate the sphere it has to be in a situation where we can fl freely rotate it without having it you know touch the ceiling and so forth so let's go with something like this have a look here there you go we're going to bump up the subdivision level on the sphere let's go with 40. That looks all right, okay? So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click at a face. We're gonna drag select, let's do, I would say these right here. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get rid of these. And then we'll deal with those guys later, okay? Now, what we're gonna do here, because we just want to hide this guy for a second, we're gonna hit H to hide it. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna create some screw holes, okay? So uh, the way to do that, the way we're going to do this is we're going to go in and uh, let's see here. I'm going to go in and go to face one, two, three, four. I'm going to shift right click and go to circularize components. And then let's see, we're going to make sure we don't have that twist going on there. Okay. And then we're going to go in and we're going to add divisions to make it nice and round like that. Okay. So we got that. We're going to hit delete on that. Let's flip it around. Do the same here. So one, two, three, four. Make sure we have the same height. So we're going to check it from this view. Yeah, we're good. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to shift right click, circularize components. Let's add division. There you go. That's going to create n-gons, of course, but that's okay. We'll fix that. Looks like I clipped something that I shouldn't. Not sure there. Actually, it looks okay. That's good. Why is that looking so weird? Oh, it's the backside. It's the inside. We're not going to see that. And in fact, you could even go as far as if you, for some reason, want to reduce that face count. You can select a huge portion of the inside there and basically just delete that. Okay, we're not going to see it. You can delete the rest as well. It will just make things a bit easier. Okay, now that's a bit more tricky. We'll leave that alone for now. Okay, so we're going to go in here. What we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to edge. So I'm going to double click on this edge right here. And we're going to shift and double click on this one. We're going to control E to extrude. And let's see, we're going to tweak the offset. And that's not what we want. Let's do the thickness. That's what we want. Okay. And we're going to bring them inwards. And then as we push them in, like so, we're going to W and we're going to push them up quite a bit. Not above our model, of course. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of pull them out a little. So we'll get something like that, which is fine. All right. So we have that. Now, because of the way we set this up, I just want to make sure that these guys are not sticking out. They seem to be a little bit. So it controls you to go back a little, W to push down. There you go. So we're not going to see them. All right. So now what I want is to fix those end guns. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to mesh and separate. I'm going to select this guy. We're going to go to mesh and clean up. I want to select uh, apply to selected objects, faces with more than four sides. This is going to probably triangulate. And it looks like we're not having any issues here. Let's quickly have a look. Just want to make sure here. So that is definitely an end gone. So let's see what the issue is here. Mesh and clean up. And I'll just go in and reset it. So I want to clean them up. There we go. Ah, there you go. Okay. So that adds a bunch of triangles, which is totally okay. Triangles is fine as long as we don't have end guns. So that one is good. Now, what we can do next is put in a, uh, a screw in that hole, if you like. And I think that will make it look much better. So for that, what we'll do is we'll take a um, polygon cylinder and we're going to go in here in the attribute editor. I'm going to set the caps to zero. I'm going to go in and right click, go to face, delete the bottom face. And then we're going to go into the top here. We're going to hit four for wireframe mode. I'm going to go open up my modeling toolkit go to multi cut. So we're going to go to multi cut. We're going to go from here to here. set with that we're gonna hit escape we're gonna close our modeling toolkit we're gonna jump into our perspective view and have a look so that's gonna be the top of our screw here so we're gonna right click and go to vertex I'm gonna drag select these bottom vertices hit W bring that up turn off snapping there we go bring that up like that and then we're gonna uh, kind of select the top of a screw here okay so we're going to right click at a face, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll take these as well, these as well. We're going to hit Control E to extrude. Let's hit W to push that down. Let's hit G to repeat. We'll tweak the offset a little bit like that. And then we'll hit W and push that down. We're going to right click at object mode. Let's hit three to preview smooth. 
which will give us something like this, which looks pretty cool. And you can go into Mesh and Smooth if you actually want to smooth it. And there you have it. Okay. Now let's use that as our screw. So I'm going to go to Object Mode, E to rotate it, hold on J, flip it around like that. Go to Modify and Center Pivot, W to move that over, F to frame it, push it up, E to rotate this guy. Uh, let's get a nice fit here. So we're going to hit W, we're going to move that up. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it in. And let's see what we got here. Okay. So we're going to push that up, we're going to tilt it. So we're going to rotate that over. Pretty much like this. W, bring it out like so. And then hit E and rotate it a bit back. Maybe scale it down a bit. You know, I think that looks all right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna jump to our top view, hit F to frame it. We're gonna hit the insert key. We're gonna move that pivot point to the middle, hold down X and snap it. Hit the insert key again. Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, and hold down J to flip it around like so. All right. So now we have all of that in place. We are going to drag select all of it. Go to Mesh and Combine. And there you go. Okay. So now for the main part, we're going to go to Show and All. There's our sphere. And here we need to kind of add the camera. So we're going to go in, we're going to get an edge, we're going to double click on this, control E to extrude, W to push out, G to repeat, R to scale in, G to repeat, W to push up, G to repeat, R to scale in. We're going to scale it in to about where the lens starts. Okay. We're going to G to repeat, W to push down. We're going to hit the G again, R to scale in, the G again, W to push in. And now we're going to start with our lens, G to repeat, R to scale in, G to repeat, R to scale in. Let's keep on going, G, R, G, R. We're going to have to frame that. We're going to go to Mesh and uh, Fill Hole. And there we basically need to do the same as we did before. But because it's going to be very small, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go and select that face. Otherwise, I'd connect all those lines over. I'm going to go to Mesh and uh, Clean Up, which will create some triangles, but that's fine. Okay. All right. So now that we have that, how do we get that to look like a lens? Well, we're going to go in, we're going to right click at a face. I'm going to click and shift double click. Okay. And I'm going to hit shift period to increase that selection like so. And then we hit a B on the keyboard for soft select. I'm going to hold down B and left click and drag to kind of extend that uh, impacted area. Hit W and we're going to start to push this down. Let's see what we got. Not too bad. Good start anyway. So let's see. We'll uh, right click at a face again. Hold down B and kind of pull that in. Go back a little. It needs to be a bit bigger. I think that looks fine. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. What we need to do is we need to add lights for our uh, camera here. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go in, we're gonna take a uh, polygon pipe again, bring that down, hard to scale that out, push it in, do 
0 0.1 on the thickness. Increase this to a subdivision level of 40, which is fine. And I'm just going to create this thing first, and then we're going to put it into place. Okay. So we got this. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to hit R to scale it in. Push that into about here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into this view. Make sure they got the same height. Okay. Then we're going to drag select both in object mode. Let's hit B to turn off that soft select. We're going to go to mesh and combine. And then we're going to jump to our top view here. And let's see what's aligned with what. Yeah, okay, this is a good indication. So I'm going to go to edge and I'm going to drag select these two so I know what's going on there. Okay. So let's hit F to frame that. So we got these two going on. So I'm going to right click and go to face one and two. Delete that. And then we're going to go to the exact, exact opposite, one and two. Delete that. We're going to right click the edge, double click, shift, double click, edit mesh and bridge. There you have it. And then we're going to do the same at the other end. Just make sure from a uh, from this point of view here that we get the same ones. Yep. Right click face, one, two. Delete, flip that over. One, two, delete, right click edge, double click, shift, double click, edit mesh and bridge. And then you can go in if you want, do the same here. Again, if you want, right? So, uh, but I want, so here we go. bridge and then finally So now we have that, we're going to do is we're going to go in, we're going to go to edge, we're going to drag select these edges and go to edit mesh and bevel. Let's see, we're going to increase that fraction a bit, like so. Increase the segments, one stop, like so, that's fine. And then we'll call this guy done. And now we need to get this into place, okay? So we're going to hit R to scale it down quite a bit. W to move that up. Actually, we're not quite done yet. My apologies. We're going to scale it up again because I need uh, lights. Okay. For that, what we're going to do is we're going to drag like this guy, hit H to hide the whole thing, W to move this guy up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to jump into our top view and I'm going to take um, a polygon sphere. Let's see, what we'll do is we'll uh, take this guy, hit each rotate it, hold down J, and we'll do that, that kind of helps. We'll take this guy, we'll hit W, we'll move it over here. I'm gonna hit R to scale it up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna hit the insert key, move it, hold down X, snap to the center right there. Hit the insert key again. And I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it. E to rotate, hold down J. Do that once. Okay. And then I'm going to hit Control D again. E to rotate, hold down J once and twice. There you go. So I've got these three. And I'm going to take this guy, Control D to duplicate. Let's bring that down right there. Insert key. Hold on X, snap it to the center of the grid. Control D to duplicate, E to rotate. Hold on J. 
control D to duplicate. Do that once again. Like that. And we just need to level these out a little bit. And once we've got one section done, we can uh, copy that over, no problem. So just hitting Shift D there. So they look okay. Let's say they're good. Okay. So we're going to select these guys. We're going to go to Mesh and Combine. Uh, modify Center Pivot. We're going to hit the Insert key. We're going to move that down. Hold on X. Snap it. Hit the Insert key again. Control D to duplicate. W to move. Uh, e to rotate. Sorry. We're going to hold down J until we're all the way snapped. Shift D and Shift D. Okay. So this is the whole setup here. We're going to go to Mesh and Combine. Then we're going to go to Display and Show All, which will give us our entire unit. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale this guy way down. W to push it down. F to frame it. And this should now be fitted in here. So we need to uh, scale it down some more. And possibly we need to adjust it, but we'll see. Probably will. But that's OK. Let's have a look. Now that's pretty good. I'm liking that. So now we need to address this. OK, so that's something we need to um, um, bring in a bit. So let's do that from here. Okay. So what we're talking about here is the edges in the middle here. Okay. So I'm going to right click at a face and I'm just going to double click on this and then I'm going to hit shift period until I got the entire area that I want pulled in. And I think that's it. Okay. So now we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that in until that falls within our frame and our lights. And it does. Okay, cool. So now that we have all that, that is basically our camera. So uh, we're going to right click go to object mode. I'm going to drag select all of this, deselect this, and we're going to go to uh, mesh and combine like this. Then we need to make sure that our pivot points in the right place. So if you got this guy selected and we hit E to move our camera around, you know, it should stay within the confinement of this frame here. So let's see where our pivot point is. It's right there. So we're going to have a look. So from this point, if we rotate it, it's looking okay. And if we rotate it this way, you can see that we have limited movement. Now, the way this would work is it would either rotate like this, right? And if it has to rotate further, then it will rotate like this. Okay? So that's how you would rig it as well. Now, uh, that's basically how you do this, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more in the future, make sure you subscribe, okay? Well, see you guys soon. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.